Hi, I'm Catherine Anderson, APPI Master Trainer, and I'm here today to talk about the SOAR on the Cadillac exercise on behalf of Unite Health. Now, I really like the SOAR exercise because it's a beautiful way of mobilising while overlaying your Pilates principles of stability at the same time. It gives a lovely mobilisation into a combination of rotation and flexion, and it also works really well to improve the endurance of sitting posture. So it works well for people who are, say, stiff in their thoracic spine, people who are a bit tight neurally, so tighten their nerves and they need that flexion, and also those who you want to improve the ability of them to sit for longer during the day. Now, the starting position is in long sitting on the Cadillac, and I've got one red spring top loaded on the, pu the push-through bar. So we have Molly sitting here and the beautiful thing about the way Molly's sitting is she has the ability to long sit without a compromise of her pelvis. What you'll commonly find though is if people are tight either through their hamstrings or neurally, you'll notice that if they long sit, they'll be in a posterior tilt. So if that's the case, you always want to correct it before you start. Now the two ways that you may correct it is either by bending the knees to take the tension off the hamstrings or you can sit them up onto a little sitting block just to elevate their pelvis. Um, but either way, you wanna try and get that neutral pelvis where the ASIS and PSIS are about in the same plane as each other horizontally, or that they've got a nice little bit of lumbar extension. So Molly, if you can sit up nice and tall, that's our starting position. So from here, Molly, what I'd like you to do is to take your left hand and place it in the middle of the bar, bring it down so it's just above your eye height. Then take your right hand and project it out nice and long, right up in line with your body with your palm facing forward. Now from here, Molly, I want you to start pressing the bar down through with this hand and imagine flexion so you're going chin to chest and you're starting to roll down while you sim simultaneously take this hand around to the outside of that shin. From there, take a big breath in and then as you exhale, you can bring that hand back out again as you roll back up and return your body to midline. Inhale there. As you exhale, press down and through, chin to chest, really peel and roll. This hand will come and hold there. And then you'll come back around again, sweeping that right hand really nice and wide and nice control back to your starting position. Now, as Molly goes through a couple more repetitions, I want to talk about some of the really important teaching points here. So I don't mind how far this hand gets down, but what I do mind is that they really take up all the space into flexion. So things like your angry cats, um, all of your flexion-based exercises from earlier in the repertoires are really important here. Now, once they're in position here, it's a really great opportunity to mobilise this right side of the thoracic spine. So you can use the breath to take a huge, big inhalation, and the person should feel that lovely stretch. Do you feel that there, Molly? That lovely stretch right through those costovertebral and costotransverse joints that are often quite hard to reach. Then as you come back up, you want to really try and scoop back up from your, from your flexion right back into extension. So you'll see that lovely final position that Molly's got there. Now let's just go through one more time, Molly, and another little teaching point that you can have here is with this right hand, you can use it really actively. So as I said, it doesn't matter where it lands on the leg, but once it's there, press it into the outside of the leg to give a really kind of closed amount of tension to the movement, and that will give you an even better mobilisation through the thoracic spine. And you can roll back up. Beautiful work. Now, one little thing to look out for with this movement is that you want to try and make sure that you um, look out for people who might be irritable through their neural system. So, Molly, you can take a rest there. With the neural system, someone who's had a history of a lumbar disc bulge or someone who can't long sit for very long is not really going to enjoy this exercise. So do be careful in who you choose it with. But if you'd like to modify it for someone who does fall into that category, you can move them sitting onto a Swiss ball from the other side of the Cadillac and do just the rotation part of it, which works really nicely. I hope that's helpful to you and I hope those teaching points really give you an understanding of why I love the source so much. Thank you for watching.